Welcome to today's vlog. It's a shopping day and we're headed down south to the Waco, Texas area. We're hitting up a few of my favorite antique shops and thrift stores and we're also visiting my three favorite Magnolia stores and checking out their fall decor. So if you want to come along and spend the day with me, just simply keep watching. Hey guys, today is a shopping vlog. Now, before we get started, before I take you to Waco, Texas, I just wanted to point out that there is a weird glare <laughs> on my face in this first clip, but I promise you, it is not there for the rest of the video. I don't know what it's from. I don't know what's causing it. Hopefully, it's not something like in the inside of the camera. Anyhow, it's fine for the rest, but just I just wanted to address that. So let's head over to Waco now, and then I will meet you right back here to talk about the haul. Hi guys, Charlani here. Today is Waco, Texas day. We are headed to Waco. I have my list right here. We are ready to go. We're gonna hit up the antique mall. We're also gonna go to Magnolia Market. We're gonna trip around there for a little bit. And then I have a couple of thrift stores and antique stores that I want to go to as well. I have a list here of everything that I am thinking I wanna get. Whether or not we find it all, I don't know. We're gonna go to Magnolia. I am looking for diffuser oil. I bought the reeds that you would have saw in the last video. And I wanna put some diffuser oil into my own canister so we'll see if they have that i have purchased it there before but i can't remember seeing it the last several times i've gone so we'll see looking for some fall foliage a spoon rest a coffee sign something is going if it's fall related it has to absolutely speak to me because we need nothing for fall decor i have so much fall decor but if there is something that we find that I'm like, I gotta have it, we'll get it. Then at the antique mall, what I'm looking for specifically are Department 56, the North Pole series pieces. That's what I'm actually going in for. And then I'm looking for trees and garland for the Christmas village tree. Um, so I'm looking for that. If I could thrift that, that would probably be best because I wanna need a lot of it. Uh, spoon rest, coffee sign, mug tree, a small bookcase. There are a couple of uh, thrift and uh, there's a place called Junkie Monkey that I'm really excited to go to. They have like this big junkyard in the back. I want to walk through that because I'm kind of looking for like a big reclaimed piece of wood, maybe a door or something that has character for a tabletop. That's what I'm looking for there. Um, and then Junk in the Trunk is just one of my favorite thrift antique stores, uh, just because they have cool stuff there. And I'm looking specifically there for jeweled colored books. So like the turquoise, the pinks, the greens, things like that. So those are the things that I'm looking for. And again, whether or not we buy everything on this list, that would be amazing. But if not, the search will continue for these pieces whenever we go back. So, because as you know, if you antique or thrift things, you know, things change all the time. And I have no doubt that in the next couple months, we will go back to Magnolia, go back to Waco and that antique mall, all the things. So we have a couple of hours drive in front of us. So let's get going. I decided to come to the Cedar Chest Antique Mall in McGregor first since it's farther south and it closes earlier than the thrift stores and Magnolia Market in Waco and I figured I could just backtrack up as I headed home. And if I'm gonna be really honest, I am most excited about here because I have high hopes of collecting more Christmas Village pieces. This is where I got my current set. So I'm really hoping that I'm gonna luck out again here. But this antique mall is huge. And if you're just wanting to browse around 
antique thrifting items, <laughs> you could spend hours in this place. So I'm going to voice over in here because the music was blasting and we love a good Billy Joel or Steve Miller band song, but it was just so, so loud. So I saw this tree and I thought it might be a cool like topper to our village tree. I'm unsure of exactly how I'll configure it. Luckily, we still have time, but to say that I'm excited excited about the Christmas Village tree is such an understatement. <laughs> I think it's going to be amazing, but we'll definitely talk more about that as December gets closer, but I'm also aware that it's just around the corner. Something else I'm looking for are simply things with character that I can use as photo props. I want to play around with photography, and I'd like to find some rustic items, things with texture like old ropes, locks, maybe an old rusted chain. And these chests right here in a much smaller version, these would be absolutely perfect. Like that's the kind of texture that I'm kind of looking for, but I'm not really thinking of anything like specific, just character type stuff. So I've got my eye out for that kind of stuff too. I should also note that they need to be cheap. <laughs> I'm thinking $5 tops. These are things that will not be the focal point of a photo, so it will likely be blurred out or faded out. So inexpensive is also what I'm looking for. This is a new booth here and I am so excited about it. So these are transfers. I'd never heard of this. It's like stamps and paint transfers and I'm thinking this may be my new happy place. <laughs> it's definitely something that I will at some point, someday, I wanna learn more about this for sure. So if you're creative, look up Iron Orchid Designs and check it out. If you are crafty, maybe this can be your new thing too, but the concept of it is really, really cool. I can count on one hand how many Christmas booths were here, which was a bummer, but that just means that we're gonna have to come back in the next couple of months. But they did have these Scrabble pieces, which I thought was super cool. So I dug out Live Happy and I love it. I think the pieces were 25 cents each and the holder was a couple bucks and it's cute. I did get a few things there, but I'm disappointed. I'm definitely too early <laughs> for Christmas stuff. Most of the things in there, not Christmas at all. There's a lot of, not junk, because technically, depending on how you look at it and what you're looking for, <laughs> antiques and whatnot, sometimes are junk. Uh, so I didn't find very much there. I got a few prop pieces and I'm looking for like rustic things, things that have texture, like old rusted chain, old like rope, things like that. That's what I'm looking for, just stuff with texture. It almost doesn't really even matter what it is, but that's something that I am looking for. So, okay, we are gonna head now to Junk in the Trunk and then Junkie Monkey.
see I wish it was something like this but with like reclaimed refinished like wood that had character <laughs> but that would have been perfect I'm not even gonna lie it is so hot out here that I don't even want to look oh there's a lot of stuff here though <laughs> I see some wood back there, so we'll just slowly make our way there. But if I want texture, <laughs> this is the place for it, for sure. Like just little, cool little things like this. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. It is so hot. Can't even lift that up. looking for weathered things so <laughs> things back here definitely definitely weathered I love this texture but there's no price on it and <sighs> I wanted to bring it back out here I literally can't even pick any of this up it's that hot We will do a haul when we get home. The heat is unbearable. Not even gonna lie. <laughs> it is so hot. The lady at Junkie Monkey. Such great conversation. So mad I didn't get her name. <laughs> but she was like, why didn't you come next week? Next week it's supposed to be in the 80s. <laughs> I didn't know. Next time I will look at the temperature because it is hot. They do have a fresh start, which I'm so excited about. I need to grab another candle, but they have the diffuser oils in lots of these other different fragrances, but I wonder, I'll have to ask, but I don't see it and that's a bummer. But I'm surprised that they still have these here. That's usually a spring thing. So good though. That candle, love, 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 love. They do have the linen oils in a refill, so I'll get that for sure, but... Ooh, this is Daybreak. This actually smells really good. Okay. I kind of love this. Okay. Do they have refills? We'll have to ask. Like, you can get the whole thing that I just showed you back here or you can just get a refill, so I'm gonna ask.
I've noticed that they don't have a lot of stands around like this. So I'm wondering if they're changing up, and I'll explain later, but I wonder if they're changing up Magnolia Home versus the market. This is how hot it is here. <laughs> There's literally nobody. It's a ghost town here. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights, won't stop for traffic lights. And I, I really want to know, really want to know, if I will ever figure out. I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down I hope you've enjoyed the video so far. I have been editing today and listen, this was one of my quickest trips to Waco and to McGregor. Um, and honestly, not my very favorite. I didn't get most of what I had on my list, which is okay. I was definitely not expecting that I was gonna get everything on my list. Like that's just not realistic when you're thrifting or going to antique shops because you never know what's gonna be there. But I have to say I was a little bit disappointed in all of the places that I had gone. Now, I will also say that in Junkie Monkey, it was so hot, unbelievably hot hot especially outside and it was 108 real feel to that would have been many degrees higher 
it was miserable. So I'm gonna need to definitely remember next time I need to look at the uh, weather <laughs> and see what it is. And I have been there before where it's been super hot nothing like this and in the stores they did have big fans going but it was only pushing hot air it was almost like standing in front of a heat vent it was miserable so definitely something for me to consider <laughs> next time i go there because it just was draining and not my favorite time but definitely going to look forward to going back a little bit closer to Christmas time. So I'm thinking maybe mid-November, we'll head back and see what they've got there. But let me show you what I did end up getting while we were there. We'll start with what I got at the antique mall. So you guys saw I got these uh, Scrabble pieces, so fun. So I dug out it says Live Happy, which is my company's name. And I just got a little stand, super inexpensive, and I think it's just super cute to put on my desk. And then I also got this little thing. I'm not quite sure, so maybe a pepper grinder of some, it doesn't even, it doesn't go, like it's old, old. But I thought this was super cute for that texture element that I was looking for. But yeah, so I got this and it was not very much. It was probably just about three or four dollars, but super cute for sure. And then I got this tray right here. So one of the things that I'm wanting to photograph are like Rob's coins, part of his, his collection, his coin rounds, things like this. And I just love this. Like it's just rustic and the wood grain is beautiful. So I did get this tray. This was a little bit more, I think this was 12 or $13, but totally worth it because this can be the base and then have his little coin here. And then maybe something like this in the background. So yeah, so that, that is what we got. Just these three things at the antique mall. Not a lot, but so good. The next place we went was to Junkie Monkey. And again, it was so hot there, but I was able to get some more things that had a little bit of texture. And again, look at this is, I mean, that is all about texture. So I'm thinking something like this as like background, just so pretty. And then I also just got this little like door hinge again just something super cool that's adding a little bit of character to like a silver coin i just think it would be awesome so that's what i got each of these were just a few dollars not very much at all but that's what we got at junkie monkey when we go back in a couple of months uh we'll hit up that junkyard again <laughs> but that was not the that was not the thing when we were there. Way too hot. And then at Junk in the Trunk, this place right here, this is such a cool antique store. But I thought this time around it was actually very sparse. Um, but again, we'll we'll have to go back and try it again. You just never know when you're thrifting and antiquing what you'll find. But I got these little crystals. And for just added texture to those photos, I think these will be really, really cool. And they were a dollar each. He had a huge bin of these. He ended up giving them to me for free. That was the place that I actually went there to look at their books because they usually have a really big book collection and I'm looking for jewel tone books like a turquoise blue, like a pearly green, uh, pinks, deep purples, things like that. They didn't have anything like that there. So it was a little bit disappointing, but that was so cool that he gave those to me for free. And as I was like, are you sure? He goes, come back and see me. And I was thinking that is the best advertising, the best marketing ever, because 
you know I'm definitely gonna go back there in the future. Okay, so the next thing we got was at Magnolia. I don't think I've ever left Magnolia with one little bag like that. <laughs> so here's what we got. I did get the linen diffuser. I actually have had one of these before. Um, I got it years and years ago. In fact, it was probably one of the first times I went to Magnolia. I ended up getting one of these. So it comes with this and then you'll put your diffuser sticks in there. Now, I was hoping to be able to buy just the oil, but they did not sell it that way. <laughs> so I thought this was a refill, like this was an oil refill. And I ended up talking to one of the uh, ladies there and she was like, oh no, 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 that's not a refill. It's actually room spray. I'm happy with that. I actually think that's really cool. So it isn't like a poor thing. <laughs> it's got a sprayer right there. So this is definitely not an oil diffuser, oil replacement, uh, but it is still going to smell good and I'm really happy that I got that. So that's gonna be fun to play with and try out too. This is something that's not usually there at this time of year but I got another Fresh Start candle. This is my favorite scent of all time. I just, I don't know what it is. It's such a clean fragrance. I just love it so much. So this is one of my favorites. I had to get another one, but I was surprised that they had that out, especially it being September already. So we're gonna go back. We will definitely head back in the next maybe month and a half or so. We'll give it several weeks because I'm still looking for those Department 56 pieces. Uh, I'm gonna have to look on Facebook Marketplace. Like I'm gonna have to start doing a little bit of homework. I think in our next video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull down some of our fall stuff once we're in there, we can go in and also pull out the Christmas Village pieces that I do have and we can make a list. So I know exactly what I've got and what I'm looking for. It would be nice to have a list for that. So I think that's what we'll do. But I am very disappointed that we weren't able to get any pieces there at all. All. but I think we're a little bit early. Maybe we wait another month or so and we'll go ahead and we'll head back. Now something else I, I noticed when I was there was that usually, so I often will start at Magnolia and I go to the home store and then I go to Magnolia Market. And I have said before, and I'll share the link to my Magnolia playlist because I've gone pretty in depth in some of my videos of kind of like how I go about shopping there. This time I did things a little bit different, but what I did do that I normally do is I start at Magnolia Home and then I kind of work my way to Magnolia Market. This time I just did not feel it necessary to go into each of the shops. We did go into the stationery shop, but that was the only one because I know that in that shop, because I love stationery so much that I knew that if there was gonna be something that I wanted to buy, it would be there. Um, so anyways, I started in Magnolia Home and I noticed that they took a lot of the things that I normally would find in Magnolia Market, they seem to have taken it out of Magnolia Home, which in my opinion is a good idea, just as a marketing standpoint and kind of a, easier on your customers because they don't have to haul around big bags if they started at the home store. They don't have to haul around all of those big bags while they go to all the other stores. So, but it was a little shocking to go in and see it kind of so bare. I was expecting that there were going to be a lot more stands with a lot more fall decor and I just didn't see it this year. Now, interestingly, <laughs> Regarding fall this year, I don't know. I'm kind of leaning in towards like a moody vibe. 
like dark colors, jewel tones, kind of like just moodiness rather than just warm, normal, regular browns, fall colors like that. I don't know. We'll see where it's going to go. In the next video, we're going to kind of prep everything, bring down some of our fall decor, and really get started with this new season that is upon us. So hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed that our weather starts to cooperate with the season and we are going to be a lot cooler here and the heat wave that we have just been baking here that that I'm hoping is going to be over now. So thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.